All right, welcome to the next episode of UC Buyer TV. I'm fired up to be joined today by Kevin Thompson. Mike, first and foremost, I've heard so much about the UC Buyer, and I'm uh, thankful that you guys got me on board here, as I know that you have a big subscriber base here. That's what we're going to talk about, yep. how well Zoom's been doing. But we also want to spend some time talking about something that's top of mind, which is the coronavirus crisis that's, under, that's, uh, that's unfolding. The, the continuance of uh, just evolving news and, and just vast amounts of uncertainty. And we're going to talk specifically about workers being able to work from home and the, and the impact that Zoom's going to make on those folks. If someone told me that the entire globe will be trying to work remote in 2020, I would say no freaking way. For me personally, uh, as a whole, Zoom's is so incredibly fortunate to have a product set that is going to help enable uh, the, really the, the global economy. We have the majority of K through 12 using our free licenses. Uh, our CEO lifted the 40 minute cap on free users for. Um, every real education institute uh, K through 12 to, to use the video, which is, which is everything. And it's, it's all about really giving back. So it's, um, it's a wild time. I know the form for this discussion is all around remote workforce, uh, how to do it, what to do, what are your, what are the technologies? I think a lot of companies are trying to monetize a type of situation like this. Um, we're the complete opposite. We are doing anything in our power just to help. And obviously what comes from that, um, we'll see as this real growing trend is I think here to stay. And that is the, the distributed workforce. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because you and I have, have both for the last 10 years been in the uh, unified communication space, uh -huh. which, which for 10 years we've been talking to the market customers about all the great features that you see enables, including uh, the ability to do your work, extend the PBX to uh, any device, anywhere you are. Um, and then that's ex since extended into collaboration tools, video that we're on today, uh, desktop sharing and whatnot. Uh, so those features have been out there, but, but you know, obviously they haven't been used in, in, in mass scale. And that's changing at warp speeds because a lot of companies are right now are scrambling. How do we uh, enable our workforce with the tools? As you look at how Zoom came to, founded in 2011 really started selling 2014. Um, mm -hmm. Our CEO came from WebEx where he ran that full video solution, which ultimately sold to Cisco. Wanted to rewrite the code there, came up with an unbelievable plan for Cisco to reuse that code. They didn't. He and 40 other engineers left to start Zoom Video where they could really build the architecture for a video first platform where yeah. every other play is, well, we'll start voice and then we'll add on chat, then we'll add on video, then we'll add on this, then we'll add on API. Right. We took the mother load first from an architecture perspective, which is video, which is the most sophisticated packet out there. And Absolutely. you being an industry vet and true subject matter expert, before it was IP, IP, IP um, dialing, if you had, Right. major global infrastructure you would run an mpls just for your video system tough to connect in typically you had to call out especially if you had sophisticated firewall options so going back to where the question came from and why i gave that background is we started as a video company right and then a chat company zoom's got a 73 net promoter score wow which is, which is higher than apple that's unbelievable i did not know that uh, that is stunning. It just works. It's so simple. It's, I mean, the, the, the back end is so complex. Again, when you, when you have a video first organization, if you think right. about building a bridge, we built the bridge to handle 18 wheelers all day long, which is that video packet. Right. Then came chat, smaller packet. Now comes voice. We have the ability to not only scale, but handle that type of traffic with a secure 
high quality SLA driven metrics. It, 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 it works. Right. It integrates, it's secure. And now we have specific verticals with testimonials and we're very blessed. I'm very blessed. If I'm the CIO of a enterprise, one, I'm thinking about how do I make sure that my employees are safe and that if community spread starts uh, hitting with coronavirus in certain areas, you know, you want to have social distancing in place, which a lot of companies are doing, people are working from home. Obviously, with your background, you've got the new Zoom background uh, fired up. That's hey, you want to see, of... see me go to New York City real quick? I would love that. Are you able to do that mid-call? Or is it locked? Uh, oh, there we are. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so talk a little bit about some of the kind of, I guess, the more multimedia solutions that you guys have geared towards distance learning, virtual events, and uh, what, if you're you know, leading one of these, or you're leading an educational system, is contemplating how do we keep continue minimize disruption keep people safe we've seen really four major verticals of growth in the enterprise education which i'll cover the case studies there healthcare actually yeah. the public sector and then financial institutions all very similar all similar as far as technology totally different use cases on the education Stanford, uh, higher ed and then universities. So Stanford was our first real big mm -hmm. university that went on board. Eric, our CEO went there. They adopted that remote learning via video early on, uh, right. online e-learning. Since then we announced on, uh, on our key three earnings, uh, Quinnipiac university. We just had a press release on Texas A&M. Johns Hopkins is, I mean, really, I, I think we probably right now, given the environment that we're in, mm -hmm. the majority of uh, educational institutions are on Zoom, whether it be free licenses or paying customer, due to right. the fact that we have the ability through Zoom webinar and through, of course, Zoom Enterprise, Zoom Pro, based on the, the tiers that you purchase as, a, as an educational institute, to, to do fully learning attendance, right. uh, have the ability to interact, real live emojis that you're used to from your iPhone that creates that learning environment while still being able to social distance. And again, to, to, to think that in 2020 that we would be at this inflection point, no one could have forecasted it. We're, we're just so happy that we were trying to make video and have successfully made video Right. More importantly, video first cultures have allowed that total demographic to truly have a distributed workforce. So it was a little ahead of its time, but thankfully we have the capacity to, to handle the volumes that we're, we're experiencing right now. Right. And, and that's, that brings me to another point. If you are scrambling to get a solution in place, like we just talked about, what, what are some of the things that if you don't have that in place today, right? What are the things that you would advise decision makers on this front to look at? Yeah, we have the ability to rapidly scale and, and auto scale. So again, thankfully with updated code, I mean, there was a, there was a tweet out there. I mean, I think, I think Cisco WebEx still using code from, from the eighties. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the nineties, we have the, we're borderless. So, yeah. you know, for instance, I mean, we stood up thousands upon thousands of new servers this past weekend to handle the volume. No one again can predict that the entire world was going to jump on your network. Knock on wood, uh, everything's been airtight. We have the brightest minds in Silicon Valley and across the world working on this architecture to make sure that it's stability. Going back to what your decision makers should be thinking of, they should be getting with their consultant and try a POC. We can get you running up and running the same day, make the mouse clicks. If after a week, we see that your usage is to a certain point, put your credit card down and buy through your, buy through your consultant. Right. It's that easy. And I would argue that, and I'd love to get your take on this, Kevin. It doesn't matter if you've already made, made the move to UCAS or not. I've seen plenty of companies that made the move to UCAS. They've got 80% of their employees working from the office without any of the features enabled. 
that would now allow them to work from home. They don't even know how to use those features, nor are they enabled across the enterprise. Yeah. Right? So you've got uh, people everywhere, literally everywhere, struggling with how do I act, not only activate all the features I need, but how do I get my employees that don't use these tools on a regular basis using them as a means to keep people productive, keep business going forward, keep employees engaged instead of uh, hanging out and on a couch and watching TV. And, and this is a great tool to do that. So I think it's a great time if, uh, for folks that are thinking about getting into business to do it now. And I also think you guys are well positioned on that front to help solve a big pain point in the market. And it's gotta be, to me, it's really gratifying that this is, a, we've been talking about this for years. And yeah. the fact that the fact that we that we have the tools ready to be deployed literally same day that can help a business weather the storm is is huge and it's personally gratifying, right? Yeah, Mike, I, it's and for everyone that's out listening to this, and I'm assuming it's mostly uh, partners, but if you are an IT decision maker as well, this is an inflection point in technology. It's really an inflection point. In, in 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 modern America, excuse me, from the globe. You look at the world wars and significant events such as what we're going through right now. Opportunity propels itself from this. I think this inflection point is what's going to push the need for a different way to do business, and that different way to do business is a distributed workforce, a true work from home culture where that brings on a whole other set of new issues, new opportunity, new companies as a result of this epidemic. We will get through this because the mm -hmm. American people, we get through everything with, you know, with our determination. But every single CEO, business owner, small or big, is going to evaluate how nimble, how fast, how effective, are my technology tools and do I need that downtown office space to run my business? And I think the fact profile of what we're gonna see from the companies that didn't see a blip on the radar from an economy perspective or did suffer, there's going to be case study after case study of tech of the, the companies that were bleeding edge that did prepare for this, that did have adoption tools like a like a proto score, for instance, or the or the the lagging, which was we're not we don't trust the cloud yet. It's right. Blockbuster versus Netflix. Our Netflix players, they're seamlessly working. They had their morning meeting this morning. The Blockbuster players, they are worried about someone just sitting and watching Netflix all day because they can't work. Right. And that is where I think this inflection point goes, I think from our conversation, even here, Mike, the, the one big takeaway is the time is now to best brief yourself on the cloud in itself. And then the real, the real Titans in its respective category, you have your, your security, you have your Google and Office 365, you have your Salesforce and that's right. And then you have a lot of different options around unified communications, video, and I think you just have to look at the trends of ease of use and then that video first culture, which is a few players that can actually handle that type of infrastructure and setup. And thankfully we, we love our poker hand at zoom right now. So let's talk about, I uh, love the analogy of businesses that look like Netflix have prepared for something like this versus those that, look more like Blockbuster and aren't prepared. The good news is that because of the, how easy it is to deploy the technology, if you are flat-footed and in that position, you can get the tools in place uh, yes. very quickly. And there's some certain elements that we've been certainly writing about some of the tips to do that. So first, subscribe to the UC buyer and listen and update. I love that and, plug. Yeah, <laughs> nice plug. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, education is the reason why the, a lot of the companies that you have worked with are seamlessly working right now. The, in the event that you are caught flat-footed, um, it's, it's very simple. Everyone has internet, whether it's LTE, 
right, off of your cell phone or your traditional internet at your house. Starbucks, even though you should be social distancing, you still can immediately stand up a remote workforce. There is no lag when it comes to implementing solutions like this because we're, we are truly cloud-based. We truly right. own our own staff. We are not dependent on anything other than Zoom's capabilities and our great people. And yeah. thankfully, we've built a, a culture and an operation that can is, is handling this volume and some of the biggest logos in the world right. are, are scrambling today trying to implement our solutions. No, that's great. And the toolkit, it's its fairly simple. I mean, lit, now you and I are using... Um, yeah, we're on enhanced. it right now. But, you know, literally what you need is a laptop or hell, you, you can use do it on an iPad. You yeah, need to have high speed, anywhere. you could have high speed internet. Then, you know, you get a headset like I'm using like a, you know, poly headset that uh, mm -hmm. connects to both my desktop phone as well as my computer. You know, you can use a mic like this if, if you want a really high, you know, high end experience, but you could use the AirPods that you, you have in your ears. And hell, you can use the, the laptop, but what I'd argue is that if you really want people to embrace the technology, the experience is better if you've got, you know, a headset and you've got, you know, I'm, I'm looking into a Logitech high def camera. There's, you know, Poly makes cameras, uh, you know, there's other ones you can buy and they're not that expensive. I mean, they're 39 bucks on Amazon, I think. But any other tips you get for people that are working from home? And, I, and obviously the Zoom background is pretty cool because. Oh yeah, let's, let's rip through these. So if you don't, if you're not exactly feeling your, uh, your house is up to, uh, the cleanliness level, given the kids are running around and ripping it apart, you have the ability now to change your green screen. This is Pine. Oh, I love that. What course is that? That's uh, 18th hole at Pine Valley. Nice. So now you're an astronaut. This, you can actually have video backgrounds, so it's actually moving. Wow. Yeah, and then uh, I did the city view from actually Polycom in, uh, in Times Square. So, yeah, very, very, again, it's, it, it's built for the millennial, which is where the entire workforce in our future is going. And we're just so happy to help our clients. Us donating K through 12 is significant and just shows the core values of Eric and our company that it's, it's a total people first operation. We're here to help. Free licenses, paid licenses, Get with your trusted advisor. Mike, thank you so much for having us on the UC Buyer. We well, I'll tell you, it. it's, it's been uh, great having you on today and exciting times for you. I'm sure we're going to have you back because uh, this topic is highly relevant for folks yes. that are scrambling right now. And it's got to be really gratifying to be in a position where you can make an impact, literally, on the economy. You don't say, hey, let's call a taxi. You say, call an Uber. Soon it's not going to be, hey, let's do a conference. Let's send it soon. I think it's so. I think it's already there, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we got to get the partner community behind it. But uh, yeah, no doubt. Always a pleasure, Mike. You're a total pro. Well, Kevin, thanks again. Appreciate it, yeah, and you have a great you. one.